the slumbering shadows of a long the Navajo train. When it's dark and crickets are calling. A smoldering fire along the Navajo Trail. I love to lie and listen to the music when the wind is strumming a sagebrush guitar. When over yonder hill the moon is shining, it always finds me. On a star. Well, how do you know it's morning already? There's the dawn in so silver and pale. It's time to climb into my saddle and ride the Navajo Trail. first time back here at Mesro since, and I can tell you the date, um, March 3rd, 2020. <laughs> it's been much too long, so it's, it's really wonderful to be here with all of you. And um, this is a new project. Um, we brought a few new tunes, but really they're all kind of new tunes because this is only our second gig, and it's our first gig in this configuration. And I'm a little beside myself because this is the first time I'm hearing all of them, and they sound really amazing. Um, but this project was born out of everything that sort of came after March 3rd, 2020, um, when I was you know, in a one-bedroom apartment in downtown Brooklyn, and the only sounds for a long time were just silence and sirens. And I, um, I dreamed what every New Yorker dreams of, which is just a little space, a little fresh air. And I started digging into these songs, 
Um, and I don't really, I've been calling them trail songs. It's just kind of a, a made up genre because they sit in a, a liminal space somewhere between great American songbook material and country material and film music. And they're not really any of those things, but they were written and performed by people who lived in all of those different genres. So that's a little bit of what you can expect to hear. Um, this tune is written by Jimmy Wakeley, who was rather unkindly described as a dime store Gene Autry. He didn't seem to mind. He had a lot of uh, films and, and songs under his belt. He recorded a lot with Margaret Whiting, and uh, so he, he owed Gene Autry a lot, and he was, he was okay with it. But, uh, this is from uh, 1945 or 46. It's called Song of the Sierras.
Maybe, maybe that's why this happened. I got an angry email after the gig. That's a true, that's a true story. It's this real thing that happened. We played a show and it was near here. And it was also, you know, kind of a room about this size and it was also full and everyone had a great time. And in the cab on the way home, I saw a little ping and it was an email that somebody sent through my website. So whoever sent this email took the time to Google, to look me up and to fill out a form on my website telling me that if he had known that he was coming to a jazz club to hear 1930s cowboy music, he would not have come, and he wasted his night. I took it actually as a really good sign, because you're not supposed to please everybody, but it does feel like you're having a pretty good time. Yeah. Yes? I have a very aggressively cowgirl dress that I decided not to wear tonight. I, it's, the dress is a little too big for the room. I mean, the dress isn't actually big but has a presence. <laughs> and, and I felt like that might be a way to really announce what was about to happen, but I think it's okay. I think we're good. Um, this is another Jimmy Wakely tune, and um, it's called Moon Over Montana.
Also, to just keep the random factoids flying, Benny Carter contributed wow. some lyrics, as did Jean DePaul, uh, who wrote Teach Me Tonight and some jazz standards. These lyrics are maybe not quite as sophisticated, but they're fun. And, and we're kind of going to, I think we're going to feature Noah, which is to say he's, I think, tasked with working pretty hard on this one. It's your big moment. Ready. All right. Ready you are ready. It. I know it's ready. <laughs> this is the Cow Cow Boogie.
showbiz secret that I think it is. Um, we're going to turn back the clock. This is one of the oldest tunes. It might be the oldest tune in our book so far. It was written uh, for a film in 1936 called The Trail of the Lonesome Pine, and it was a very big hit for Bing Crosby, who had actually a lot of hits with this kind of hip cowboy music. But this tune went on to be recorded by just about everybody. Well, within reason. But Sam Cooke recorded this song, Dean Martin recorded this song. It, it really found a lot of, uh, it, it found a real foothold in some very uh, eclectic and diverse performers' books. And tonight we're going to do it for you. This is called Twilight on the Trail. And Justin's going to sing a little. Hey! You know, I have to say, Hillary, it's really hard to know which song is which because all of them have similar titles and imagery. Yeah. The one about the, the purple hills yeah, and the purple hills and yeah. the tumbleweed. Thing. <laughs> 